gone. But I came to testify that if you just use what's already in your hand. Yes. You already know the end of the story. You know what Moses was able to do with the same rod that God asked him to throw down. He was able to do miracles, signs, and wonders. And I came, I came uh, to tell somebody uh, that if you just use what's in your hand uh, and you use it to glorify God, uh, which are in heaven, uh, I believe uh, that God is going to bless you. Uh, he's going to increase you. Uh, he's going to allow you to do things uh, that you could not have thought or imagined. Uh,
are too busy complaining about what you don't have. I told you a couple weeks ago, you know the power of a made up mind? You gotta decide to follow Jesus. You have to follow Jesus. Don't follow the personality of the pastor. Don't get caught up in the politics of church. But follow Jesus. He won't leave you, he won't forsake you, he won't talk about it behind your back, he won't screenshot your messages, he won't blast you on Facebook. Amen. He won't smile in your face and then tell a lie on you the next breath. I'm talking about Jesus. The name above every name. The name that even demons trouble. Every knee is going to have to bow. And every tongue is going to have to confess that that Jesus, he is Lord. So if you want to make a decision today to follow Jesus, today is your day. Don't hesitate, don't vacillate, don't overcompensate. Uh, uh, today is your day. decision today, this doesn't have anything to do with anybody on your view. But I need somebody to have a made up mind right now. I'm going to follow Jesus. I've been following the wrong crowds, doing the wrong thing with the wrong people. Matter of fact, I've been trying to follow a vibe. The thing about vibes is that they're so closely interconnected with emotions. Just like emotions, vibes change. But God is the same yesterday. Yes, he is. Today. Thank you, God. And forevermore. When you make a decision to follow Jesus, you don't have to worry about him turning his back on you because you fell short. Yes. Now, following Jesus does not mean you're going to die every eye and cross every day. saved is being saved from your enemy and even your inner me. So if you want to be saved, make your decision today. He wants you right where you are. You don't have to say, I got to get some church clothes. What are, what are church clothes? <laughs> Church clothes are usually something we use to mask what's really going on in life. I'm trying to keep it real because people need a real God in this real world. I ain't gonna sit up here and try to give you all the propaganda, the excellency of speech. God wants you to be saved. From the outside enemy and even your inner me. How can God protect me from myself? The Holy Ghost. When you have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost won't let you do certain things because there's something called conviction. It won't allow you to spew out words that you can't take back. treat everybody any old kind of way. If you want to be saved, I, I, I got the hook. I can't save you, but I know who can. This is your decision. Make your decision today. My next invitation is for those who are already saved. Places. And I should have been looking at my hands the whole time. And 
I want to pray with you to ensure that you are looking at the right thing. And that you'll learn how to trust God with what is already in your hand. All of those visions and dreams and aspirations you have for yourself, it's already in your hands. It's up to you to do something with it. God ain't going to force you to do it. He's not going to force you to start the business. He's not going to force you to write the book. He's not going to force you to go back to school. That's all on you. He's calling you to a ministry. And you're talking about what you can't do. What you ain't got. What other people are doing. There's a story. I'm going to be real brief. A young lady walked into the church. And she walked up to the pastor. She had been going for a couple of weeks. And finally told the pastor, I think I'm going to leave the church. He said, why? Because I know Sister so and so was over there talking about somebody. The way that they were looking at me when I walked in the door. But she noticed all of the little things that come along with being a part of a, a bigger body. And he said, well, do me this one favor. He gave her a glass of water and told her to walk around the church and not to spill a drop. He said, if you can do that, then you can leave. So she walked around the church. She got back to the front. The no water was wasted. As she began to proceed to give the glass back to the pastor, he asked her one thing. Did you notice the voices? Did you notice the looks? She said, no. He said, why not? Because my focus was on this glass of water. Some of us need to have that same kind of focus. Stop focusing on, on the negative voices and the negative chatter and how people are looking at you. Because the truth of the matter is, you didn't come here for the looks, you didn't come here for the commentaries. It is my desire as pastor when people walk in here, especially folk that are not even associated with St. Paul, that they feel a sense of love and unity. If you're strong in Christ, you need to go to somebody who's not as strong as you in Christ. I got you. I'm going to pray for you. If you want to be joined here as a member, I would love to be your pastor. And St. Paul would love to be your church family. And those of the church are open, you may make your decision today. God, we're trusting and believing in you. 
Because God, we believe you're still in control. God, we know that you are still in control. Some of us wouldn't be breathing right now if you were not in control. And God, we want to thank you for being in control of our lives. God, even when things seem to be falling apart from our perspective, God, you have a different perspective. That they're not falling apart, they're falling into place. And so, God, the answer to this question of what's in our hands, our response is just what we need. And God, for those who are in the pew, God, that are dealing with issues and concerns right now, that weigh their hearts and weigh their minds, God, that you are already sweeping everything out that is not like you. If you find anything that does not honor you, take it out and strengthen us right now. Strengthen us for our journey. Strengthen us for our destiny. God, because we want to honor and please you. In your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God some.